This is Eugene Panrutkovich. I'm the laptop screen doc. And the website is www.screensurgeons.com. And today we're going to replace a cracked laptop screen on a, on a Toshiba C650 laptop computer. And this one is almost identical to the C655, so you can use the same procedure. Okay, uh, some precautions to take. First is make sure you work barefoot to avoid electrostatic discharge. And the tools that we're going to need today are a pair of sharp tweezers, a small electronics screwdriver with a pH 0 bit and a pH 1 bit, and an X-Acto knife blade. Okay, so to get the screen out of this laptop, what we have to do is remove the screws from the front frame and then snap it off. This laptop has four screws, one here, one here, and two on top. The screws have some plastic screw covers which we have to take off first and then we'll remove the screws. So we use the X-Acto knife blade to remove the screw covers. Not too bad, sometimes they pop off and jump away from you. So make sure where you know where they're going. So we'll do the second one. And the third one. And finally, the fourth one. Okay, this one came off nice. So what I like to do with those is just put them attach them to the side so that it's easier to find afterward. Next we're going to take the screws out. So this one's not too bad. The screws are easily accessible. So we go one by one. Keep the screws in the pile so that and separate from the other screws so that they're easier to find and group later on. Okay, that's two. And let's see if we can get a good shot. Three. Okay, this last screw, the adhesive from the plastic cover is still on there, so we can still take it off. But make sure you know which plastic cover goes with the screw so that you can put the adhesive back on because the plastic cover does not have adhesive anymore. So keep that categorized. Okay, now that we got the screws off, we need to snap off the plastic frame, also known as the bezel. And the way I like to do this is put my fingers on the screen side and gently lift up and listen for the snapping sound. So I like to go around the side and take your time on this. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's hard. Sometimes you accidentally break the plastic frame. It's happened to me before. But if you take it easy, Take your time, it shouldn't be too bad. And the plastic frame comes off. Okay, next thing you have to do is there are some screws that hold the screen on the sides. So you have to have access to those screws. For this one, it's actually really simple because the way it's arranged and you can get access really easily. So there's three screws on each side. So we start going one by one. So keep those in a separate pile from your first set of screws and be careful with them because they can run away from you. And there's one side. Okay, when you do this, 
when you get to the point last screws be careful the screen just doesn't fall out so I like to have the laptop tilted back a little bit so that the screen doesn't fall out one two and three. Okay, so next thing we want to do is carefully tilt the screen forward, make sure there's nothing stuck to the back. And this one comes out real easily. And this is a LED screen, so there's only one connector. We lift up the tape, like so, and the connect cable has some adhesive backing, so we got to remove that, and then we gently pull it out. And that's it. The screen is out. So this screen is a 15.6 inch LED screen. The connector is this side, which is by far the most common type. The part number for this screen is LP156. Let me see if I can get a good shot. LP156 WH2. So that's all you need to know. LP156 WH2. If you type it into eBay or Google, the results should pop up. It should be either this screen or it's a compatible screen. The thing to look for is that it's the same size and the connector is right here and the rest should take care of itself. And uh, this is a glossy screen as most screens are. Okay, so this is a pretty easy one to do. And when you're ready to put it back in, just reverse the procedure and do everything backwards and you should be good to go. Okay, thank you and good luck.